Chad says, I've got a perplexing issue. Users have reported that they've shared a folder with several external users via a sharing link, giving them edit permission. When those users open the folder in a browser, the new menu contains only folder, in quotes. The other options, Word, Excel, et cetera, are visible when internal users access the folder. I've been unable to replicate this with my own folders and guest accounts, but the people reporting it have replicated with their own external guest accounts. I think or suspect it might be a licensing issue of some kind, as in those external users, uh, they're not guests in our Azure intro directory, they aren't licensed for Word, Excel, et cetera, so they don't see the option to create those files. They can, however, upload any of those file types, just not create them from that menu. Your thoughts? Because my my first thought is, yeah, Chad, I, I think that's exactly your spot on. Yeah. Like if you've got those licenses, <laughs> the local licenses for those things, um, to create those on your end, that still doesn't give you the license in the cloud for, you know, it depends on your license type. If you are licensed in the cloud and it's enabled through permissions on the site for external guests, there's, yeah, that would be the other thing. Then you would see those options. Yeah, I would, I would first look at what accounts they're logging in with. If they're logging in with a Gmail or a Hotmail or an AOL or yeah. whatever, then that's not a licensed account. If they're logging in with their work account, does their work account have a Microsoft license or are they on a, a G Suite license or something else? Um, seen that many a time. Yeah, and, and then if they are licensed, there's still that like, is it, yeah, I, I, I think you could lock that down in permissions of what they actually have access to and can do within your site. Right. So, yeah. yeah. So I would have seen it, thought it'd be probably more permissions around content like you know sometimes with giving right. access to a folder or where are you where have you seeing your share right. link from do you know where's the share link actually being sent to in the first place because if they've got the wrong share link th then there's probably going to be potentially nothing in there just double check check your your actual link of where you're going what are the permissions for that particular um um uh, SharePoint itself, like the overarching, let alone the the hierarchy of it and what it's actually looking like, because there might be something in its hierarchy above that's actually stopping from seeing something potentially down below, depending on how locked down it actually is, because mm -hmm. it all just builds on top of each other. So something might actually be going on there from a permission standpoint. That's my point, is that you, you might have given them the edit capability when you shared that link, but if it's been locked down from a permissions level on their ability to do things, then they wouldn't then see that capability. But yeah. assuming most organizations don't intentionally go in and do that kind of lockdown, I think the majority have it open by default that's open and then it's by invite link so that you as the invitor can give invitees the access level that that you need to collaborate with them on those those artifacts. But yeah, I mean, otherwise, um, I mean, the other thing to check uh, around that is if they're able to add files, so then I'm assuming download, uh, you know, uh, files from that folder, edit locally, and then push it back up there. They just, if they don't have the right cloud licenses, then they're just not gonna be able to do edits within the cloud. Yeah, yeah I was gonna yeah. ask, can they, can they upload to that folder? Yeah. You know, can they interact with it or and just yeah. not see certain files or can they not interact with it? Yeah. And that That's might right. narrow down <laughs> as well. Yeah, because if they've got the ability to load yeah, things it, it up or create line. files it, in it. He says yeah. they can, however, upload any of those file types, just not create them from oh. that menu. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, well, in one case, you're just moving files back and forth. In the other, you're trying to launch and load a program to manipulate the files. That's, yeah. that's apples and oranges. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, not, it, and Chad doesn't mention, like he gives them edit and they can upload to that folder. Are they able to edit documents? I'm assuming yes, that have been uploaded. So they can upload and see what other documents have been uploaded they just can't go up to the menu 
and create new assets from like within that folder with their permissions. What if they've got a classification system in regards to like if they've set up DLP or and those documents are actually getting classified that, you know, it's a, you know, a bit more sensitive or something along those lines of which other parties can't actually then see because you can set it kind of like a third party and it would then drop them off. But that's not the, the issue doing... here. I mean, they're seeing the folder. It's not the problem. Like they're seeing the documents that are added in. So that wouldn't apply. So they're, they're able to see documents and they're able to upload. They just can't create net new artifacts from the menu. So the menu right. itself in the cloud is not allowing them to go in and create. So that, that would indicate to me that either the org level that the permissions have been restricted to create, or they don't have the right licensing on their end. Yep. Yeah. Like, that's it. Those are the two scenarios. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. otherwise, if you had those, Kirsty, I think where that would come in hand, like they wouldn't be able to see half the files are likely upload to that space because of yeah, those. Yeah, because it's which... a can't create. It's right. just a. Yeah. Or there's a glitch in the matrix and give it a <laughs> month and it will actually be fixed because there's plenty of that going on where little true. things there's a lot happening across sharepoint at the moment and with copilot and with all sorts of things did, that they yeah, might just Chad, be did you try turning it off and on right. <laughs> but look so, you know just yeah. you know you never know you know get rid of the link redo the link just in case glitch in the matrix <laughs> no. matrix <laughs> Clearly, that's the answer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's been so many times where I've had it where it's been a glitch in the matrix, and oh, I, I come know. back and oh. come back in, you know, two days' time. It's working fine. It's no, working no, back. but that's mostly teams-related issues. It's glitches. <laughs> yeah. Teams, Outlook, everything, yeah. Uh, yeah. all of it, yeah. all of it. Yeah. Oh, look, it's just moving so fast. Yeah. But with features, uh, look at you, know, you look making at excuses for Microsoft. I want it right. <laughs> Every time, the first time. Come on. I, I know. I know, right? I think That's I why mean, they the have good a server is, status link. I mean, the right. good part is they are responsive and they do turn things around fairly quickly if there's a if there's a glitch. Because yeah. as MVPs, we're in and we are reporting it. I mean, it, and that absolutely could be it could be something that's just a temporary glitch, without a doubt. I mean, it, it just it's just the nature of us living in an evergreen environment now. Um, but cross fingers, you know. Well, I mean, it would be good if it is because then you don't have to worry about all of the other stuff. You just, it will be fixed you know, now already. There's, uh, in most examples where I find weird things going on, and part of it is because the evergreen nature of the software, that there's, a, mm -hmm. there's an update happening and there's a, mm -hmm. and the way they have to roll it out, sometimes some features lock while other things have happened, like all, all of that. It's still, it could be, you know, minutes to, uh, you know, a couple hours at most, I mean, once in a great while, there's something that lasts multiple days. It's amazing how fast yeah. stuff yeah. is is fixed, is turned around. And I think those of us that have been in tech for a long time, uh, we forget how long mm -hmm. sometimes fixing things took. Yes. Yeah. Like, like just like waiting for the internet in the early days, waiting for things to boot up when we were all dialing in. <laughs> well, and the, the fixes don't necessarily always all go out at once. Sometimes yeah. they stage them and release them in batches. Yeah. So it's conceivable that you'll have somebody that's got it fixed and somebody else sitting right next to them that doesn't yet. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's where I'm. I'm pretty sure that occasionally I'm singled out to not uh, have it fixed yeah. as often. <laughs> um, I, I'm one of those people Christian. that. You know, you know, I'm one of those people that no matter what, uh, and I'm on uh, various insiders uh, programs and things, is that my tenant seems to be uh, the last one of the last waves every time. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah. Feeling the I love hate. there for Microsoft. Yeah. <laughs>